I have always been a big fan of elves in movies or illustrations and because it's been a while since my last elf design, the Moon Hunter, I decided to create another one, starting with this picture from Mirish Stock from DeviantArt and together with you, we'll discover today on this layers background how I created it. I am Mr. 23, let's go! I have used this picture with a sky, added a mask, then a brightness and contrast to make it a bit darker, then on top I have added uh, this picture, I have added a mask, then this uh, photo, I have added a mask to it, then I have uh, changed a bit the colors of uh, that planet to match my sky. With a layer set to color, I have uh, painted with uh, blue and uh, red color on the sky part. You create a new layer and you set it to color. And then take the brush tool and with the soft brush change the color to blue. And uh, for example, if you want to change the color of the sky with a blue color, you paint with blue. If you want uh, something like um, you change the color to that color. Then I have painted with the uh, orange color here in the middle, but this time I have set the blending mode to color dodge. So this is the layer paint it with orange and set it to color dodge to make sun glow here on the sky part. Then I have added this picture with those rocks. I have uh, selected them using the pen tool. I have added a mask. I have uh, duplicated some parts of this rock and I have uh, pasted them uh, a few times and I have created uh, this part with the rocks by using one layer only and I have duplicated and used it many times. Between uh, this rock and uh, the others I have added a small shadow so I paint it with a gray color I have set the layer to multiply then I have darkened up a bit this part of the rocks I have uh, made it a bit darker using uh, a soft light layer with 50% gray and with a dodge and burn I have uh, added a bit of shadows, uh, you can watch my other tutorials to see how I create this dodge and board. Then with uh, a layer set to linear dodge and fill to black, I have painted this uh, little glow and I have applied also the blend if. If you don't know how to do this, let's quickly learn. So if you want to add some uh, rim lights or some glows on a part of your object, you create a new layer from the menu and here set the blending mode to linear dodge and fill it with black. With the brush tool, for example, I'm going to sample a color from my sky by holding Alt and clicking on the sky. And with this color, if I paint here, you'll see it will add that color to my rock. This color is too intense, so we need to disperse it. Double click on the same layer and hold Alt and drag this slider to the right. And if you look at the picture, you'll see that by moving this slider, it will disperse that uh, orange color more into my rock and this is really really nice. Then I have added some exposure and I have painted some shadows that later on those shadows will be the shadows from my character and from the tree that we'll have there. I have placed all the rocks into one group and to this group I have darkened up a bit the group. Then with the brightness and contrast I made everything even darker and with the exposure I darken up everything even more. And now the same method with the linear dodge I have added some reflections from the sky. I have used this picture with the water and I have added the mask and kept only the bottom part. Then is the moment to add the elf. So this is the picture that I have used. It's well known. I have seen it in many other artworks and I wanted to use it in another way to uh, create an elf from this picture. I have selected her and I have masked this part of her dress because I didn't like uh, this area. First thing that I did was painted the hair. Then I have added a mask and mask uh, that area of uh, her dress to add another dress later on. Then I have added both the girl and her hair into one group and to this group I have added an exposure. So here this will be the shadow for the other dress. With the hue and saturation I have modified a bit the colors. I have changed my mind many times so I won't keep this color but uh, help me to create another color from it. I changed my mind many times. I use vibrance to change the colors again. Then with a uh, color balance, I have changed the color to this uh, greenish color. And then uh, later on, I decided to have this uh, bluish uh, color with another hue and saturation. Then with um, Dodge and Burn, I have darkened up everything. So the idea was to have this part of her body uh, darker and this part of her body brighter because the light should come from uh, this uh, direction. Then with a selective color, I have uh, changed her colors. I have added this curve adjustment layer and I have made everything brighter. And now is the moment for the highlights and um, 
with the same linear dodge and the blend diff. As I said, I apply the blend diff to disperse the color as otherwise it will look like that. Then another one to the dress part, the same with the blend diff applied. Another one on the right side and at the end I have manually painted some small uh, highlights on her body. At the end, after I finished, I have added some highlights. I mean, I have painted with a white color on the hair part. So those things to pop up the hair much uh, better. I have um, this picture from uh, Unsplash, it's uh, really nice and I loved the dress part so I uh, copied this part of the dress and I have used it uh, on top of the original dress. I have uh, pasted that dress here because I wanted to look uh, a bit uh, turn apart. I have added a mask and I have masked some areas and I made it like that. And then of course I have changed the colors with the selective color. I have uh, used uh, the neutrals and I have uh, changed the blending mode to color and I have uh, achieved this color. And then with the levels I made everything uh, darker. Usually I add this dungeon burn for the shadows but to add also volume to the shadows and lights and then i have manually painted this part of the dress that i didn't have and uh, i have uh, tried to match the colors and then some uh, highlights and uh, if you look closer to the dress you'll see that uh, by adding this uh, color layer so a normal layer that uh, i have created and then i set the blending mode to color i have painted with uh, some blue and red colors and i have achieved this color so you create a new layer and you set it to color then with the brush tool if you paint with the blue color here on the dress you'll add that uh, color to the dress and if you paint with a reddish or a pinkish color you add another color and then if you double click on the layer and hold alt and drag the right slider you will disperse those colors into the dress then i have repeated the process but this time i set the blending mode to overlay not uh, normal so i have painted with this color and i have set it the blending mode to overlay then some uh, small highlights with the same linear dodge layer and I have painted again with a color dodge so I have painted like that so normally when I paint it it looked like that then I have applied the blend diff by holding alt and then I have set the blending mode to color dodge then on some other highlights this time for the sky part later on the last one I have painted with a white color then I have added a small glow that will be the reflection from the spirit guide that she will have in front of her later on then I have added this belt that I have from Neostock and uh, I have added a small shadow using exposure underneath it. Underneath her feet I forgot to tell you that I have added this uh, small shadow using uh, the same exposure and some arrows here on the left side and to those arrows I have changed the brightness and contrast, added some uh, highlights using the same linear dodge. That's the bow that I have added and to this bow I have added a mask to mask that area so it looks like she is holding the bow. I have added this uh, shadow to have underneath the bow and to this bow I have added an exposure and made it darker. With the dodge and born I have added more shadows and with the selective color I have changed the neutrals and then with the color balance I have changed Again the colors and with the vibrance I have uh, reduced a bit the vibrance. The highlights part, the linear dodge I have painted with a bluish color and some reddish color on top. And the last one, the small uh, highlights. If you know my other tutorials, you'll see that every time I use linear dodge for the highlights. And now for the ear part. So I have used this ear, but I don't remember right now where I have it from because I finished this design like in August and I really forgot about the ear part stock. I am Robin I am sorry so uh, this was the part from her ear and I have added a mask to mask it inside the hair part and then I have changed a bit the colors to match uh, my uh, character's uh, colors with a hue and saturation and then with the brightness and contrast I made it a bit darker and the same dungeon burn and with the highlights I have added some reflections and then i have painted some hair on top of it so it looks like the ear is behind her hair then i have added this tree on the left side and the other tree on the right side and i have placed them into one single group to this group i have made them darker by using an exposure adjustment layer and with a selective color i have uh, changed a bit their colors and then with uh, the highlights i have uh, tried to paint with a blue color here with a dodge and burn i have made the left side of the tree even darker and then i have painted a bit with some uh, orangey colors here on the top of my tree and then 
I have uh, added a camera row filter, so I press Ctrl Alt Shift and I to create a screenshot from everything that we have built so far. Right click and I convert it to a smart object so I can return anytime to change the settings. Then go to filter and here choose camera row filter. Those are the settings that I have used. I have played a bit with the basic settings. Then on the detail, I always increase the sharpening, noise reduction and color noise reduction. Press OK. For this part, uh, if you know my other tutorials, I have like a few of them. I'm going to give you the link for creating this type of magic. It's just up to your imagination. The method that I used is uh, with the gradient map that I have learned from Max Asabin. I have used it in many, many tutorials. So uh, be sure that you will watch those tutorials to learn how to create those uh, type of uh, spirit guides or creatures or whatever do you think they are. And now for the water reflection, you should watch another tutorial that I've created. And there I explain step by step how to create a reflection, a realistic reflection using in the displacement map now i'm going to show you really fast how i created this part but for the displacement map you should watch that uh, tutorial first the same you create another screenshot so ctrl shift and i the same right click and convert it to a smart object then press ctrl t right click and flip it vertically all right and to this layer i'm going to apply the displacement map that i already have created and you should watch that tutorial to create your own displacement map so remember that i'm using the same displacement map in all my reflections I do not need to create it every time. So go to filter and here on this sort choose displace and let's keep those uh, scales for now 10 and 10 and stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels and then press ok. I have saved my displacement map in my creative cloud files so I have it all of the time online and press open and it will add that uh, reflection to your screenshot and now i'm going to move this one underneath reduce the opacity so we can see better so i'm going to drag it something like that and then when you think it's enough bring back the opacity and add a mask and with the black color you start to paint and you'll have that reflection into the water as you wish so after i edit my reflection uh, I needed to make some changes because normally the reflection doesn't have the same colors as the top part. So I have added a hue and saturation and made everything uh, desaturated and a bit darker. And with a photo filter this time set to blue color, I have made the water bluish. And with the brightness and contrast made the bottom area even darker. And then in their intersection I have painted a bit to uh, separate the water from the rocks and I have added using a color dodge some reflections on the rocks. If you want to understand better my technique, my methods, please watch my other tutorials where I explain you step by step how to create highlights or shadows, how to create magic, how to draw the hair, how to select the fur or how to create realistic water reflection. I am Mr. 23, see you next time.